Science in pajamas, Deadpool style. Chica chica. Nah, it's just me. Haha. <laughs> Don't judge my Deadpool onesie PJs. So today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Um, education is definitely super important, but so is mental well being. I know my genetics kids and I have talked about this in our whole behavioral um, genetics chapter, but also just especially in a time like this when we're isolated, we're freaked out. It's just good to take some time and just relax. Now, so what we are going to do today is we are going to Bob Ross this, meaning we're going to do a little bit of a drawing. I'm just going to do it with markers on a whiteboard, so don't expect it to come out as great as paints. But still, have a little wellness. We all need it. We need to de-stress. We need to spend some time just, you know, taking care of ourselves, our sanity, our mental well-being, all of it. So here we go. Let's start off with a little bit of brown. I know it doesn't show up that well, but let's try it anyways. So we're going to draw a happy little tree. You ready for that? All right. So... Looks simple, right? Yeah. So we're just going to keep doing that a little bit, following up, following up. You'll notice that the trunk gets a little bit thicker. We're also able to create branches. Just gonna branch out a little bit. Branch, 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 branch. Maybe that one's a little bit pale. Branch, 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 branch. See, nothing too bad so far. It actually kind of does look like a tree. So now we're going to add. Just a little bit of extra wideness at the base to show how the roots are now are actually going into the ground and spreading. Now, hmm, what season do we want? You can choose to use a variety of colors. You can use different greens and all that. If it's in summer, you can use pinks and greens and lighter colors and whites if you want to do it in um spring and full bloom. You can use reds and oranges to show fall. So let's see. Hmm. Oh, it's spring now. Why don't we show a little bit of the foliage? So I am going to add a base of some light green because we do have some of the new leaves coming out. So I'm going to make this super duper easy. Just do, 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 do. It's already starting to look like a tree. By the way, sorry about the crazy hair. With the rain, it's been super frizzy today. All right, well now we're gonna start adding some color for the petals. Now we're gonna do pretty much the same technique, but we're just gonna keep it smaller and more localized. So instead of some, or instead of several large spots like we did with the Green, we're gonna do some or a lot of smaller portions. I know Friday. So we're gonna do And because that didn't show up too well, I'm also gonna add some purple to it. I'm gonna kind of go over the same area, so kind of give it a little bit more dimension with the colors. Hmm. 
couple of extra because we want that. And you know, as it rains, which it did today, you're also going to have some falling down in, in the air. So, a couple of airborne petals. All right. Well, what we're going to do now is we can't just have a tree floating in the middle of nowhere. So, let's give it some ground. We're going to do some grass. I'm going to get a little bit lower for this. Now, again, we're going to use a very similar technique. So we're just going to go. A little bit more careful around the tree because we're trying to show that the grass is behind it. Then. nice thing about these quick movements is that it actually gives a little bit of like that natural flowing of the grass so it does give it a little bit more of a natural look a little more artistic and it's okay if it's not perfect because nature isn't perfect either so woohoo but it does give it an interesting type of texture I was going to add a little bit darker green, just a little bit to the trees. All right. Now, I didn't fully go all the way down with the grass because I do want to add, maybe we'll have a little bit of a pond or a small creek. So, this way. Got that. I'm gonna see if another blue's working a little bit better. Kind of gives the impression of the waves and the water flowing. Again, the different shades of the blue add to the overall effect and the texture. It's usually gonna be like a little bit of dirt at the very, very banks of it. Kind of being washed up by some of the water. Try to make this a little bit thicker. And now we can continue on with our grass. So we can keep going on with that, get some nice little bit or textures going. All right, so there we have that. Now, let's see, why don't we add a nice little sun to help this out, give it a little bit of 
you know, some nice little natural light going on since we don't have that too because of the rain. So. Got a little sun. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Here comes the sun. Da, na, na, na. That's all I know of that song, so I apologize. So I'm gonna add some oranges a little bit to it. Again, differencing of the color allows for a little bit of texture, even with some dry erase markers. All right, now I probably am going to take my darker green, just kind of outline the tree a little bit, just like where the leaves are. Again, just using the short little kind of messy scribble marks. All right, and I think we can add some cute little animals to this. How about you? Yeah. Now I don't really have a whole lot in terms of, well, animal colors. I don't have a black marker. I have my brown. So we could make a, hmm, hmm. I'll do a little deer. Probably going to be a little silly and all that, but For the body, graceful neck. Nice thing about these little scribble mark or scribble ways is that it also cut show the texture of fur. Uh huh. So deer there. The back legs always start off bigger. You make a big portion like that. You know, got that thigh meat. And it kind of sticks out a little bit and then comes down. That's its other back leg, kind of all up in the air. And we'll add some antlers. We'll see. We use purple for the hooves just because, again, I don't have black, sorry. Gonna use it for the eyes, and the nose, and the mouth. So there we have cute little deer. Is it perfect? Not even a little bit, but that's okay. I did tell you we we're gonna bob off some of this, so I'm gonna take a mixture of these two markers, kind of a little turquoise and green, and we have to make happy little bushes. So. I'm going to start off actually with a little bit of brown, like the tree, but much smaller. You know, a lot of times with some of the bushes, you can see the appearance just slightly of the branches underneath, like through some of the leaves. So we're going to add some of that first. And let me put another one right here. So 
So that's the base of our, ugh, that's the base of our bushes. I'm going to take some green. I'm going to make these really, really dark around so we can tell the difference between the bushes and the grass. So Notice how most of the brown is gone, but you can still kind of make it out a little bit in the um, scribble marks. And we're going to use the turquoise for a bit of texture. There's that. And as, again, this is our interpretation of Bob Ross in our example there, we got to put some happy little clouds too. So, And last but not least, why don't we go ahead and add some birds. Now make these super easy because they're flying. And that, my dear munchkins, is how you have some mental wellness. So in case you're wondering what it looks like, we got the water, the grass, the bushes, our deer, the tree, leaves and petals, birds, or clouds, and our little sun. Not too hard, not too horrible. Anyone can do it. Will yours look exactly the same? No. That's the nice thing about art is that it's an interpretation of you. So some people can follow the exact same method and get different results. That's fine. That is a-okay. The point is that it can help to relax you and help bring some mental wellness in this strange time and situation. So that's it for today. I just want us to have a little bit of a break. Um, it's been a full week and then some for, you know, Roosevelt since we we're in school, so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of something to kind of soothe you a bit more. And until next time, just remember, go make those chimichangas. Chica -chica. All right, you guys. I'll see you later.